Yeah, next week, older students at Anoka Hennepin School District will move to a distance learning model, but activities will continue for now. Uh, Saturday, we played uh, uh, Buffalo. This is Isaac. For Todd and Emily Lang of Andover, watching their son Isaac play football. Means everything. Has meant watching him develop skills for life. He was fortunate enough to be one of the captains on the football team this year. He has been such a great leader in this and it has taught him so much. And so the Langs join families from all over the Anoka Hennepin School District this evening. We want the ability to choose for our children. Bringing their perspectives to district leaders. We just want the kids to play. It's affecting their mental health, absolutely. School leaders had decided to shift to a distance learning model for older students and suspend all activities given the community COVID cases and the state guidelines. We're peaking right up near 40. But tonight, the school board shifted again. Continue activities until we receive specific direction. In addition... <laughs> The 5-1 decision to resume all activities for now did meet with some opposition. These activities are okay, but school is not. But the board is moving forward, allowing activities while seeking clarification from the state on how they can use local data. I mean, relief. For the Langs, tonight's development gives them some hope. Isaac will gain more skills. It was a lot more positive than we expected while building memories. If he gets to play, he will be ecstatic. I think all the players will be. Now the Lang family did emphasize that they work in the medical field and they do take COVID seriously. I should note that one of the factors that the board raised in deciding to go to a distance model but still allowing activities is that activities are optional and really up to each family. Randy, back to you. All right, thank you, Carla.